and spoons prints. It's called The Future's Tense. Maybe it's only in the outlines of silence we find lost keys or virginities so long ago left within the noise of being in a hurry, blurring the lines between gash, peach, plum, and gravity, cleaning the kitchen the cooker shifts and there's naked floor, once again, exactly as it was, a calendar suckling before it was broken. There's a quiet door back when cooking was an opened tin. It hurts to look at like the last time you make love, ever. Scrubbing, you sit in that square encircled by grease and dust and begin to laugh, as if laughter were a time machine. Of all the old things in the house that need fixing, there are several calling with toots, wails, whistles, and wallops. And so many have been broke so long, it's a somber moment to sit down, explain that no amount of talking is going to replace the heating coil, and there's not enough change in the drawer for a new one as he looks at you, saying, he'll change, as heads shake. Broken only has one shape, one purpose, one name. He'll find a new life with water, who's happy to love him. You turn away to the sink, so tired of tepid, glad you found a new source of ocean. And two planks in the floor have grown apart. One bends west, the other north. Through a crack lie the remnants of frost, cupping the violence of winter. In a place no warmth can go, I try to fill the chinks with scraps of laughter. Left over from dinner long ago since used for kindling. You walk over with a blanket, looking like new love, laying it on the boards. We lie down, looking at the ceiling, unraveled. We can see stars, heaven, and the future, right through the yawning.